Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltimar and we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 where we looked up last time. We were off to another gig, if I recall it's relatively close by, and it absolutely is. Who knows what we might find? Let's go find out. I like how in Night City nobody cares that I'm wandering around with a handgun in my hand, just it's perfectly fine, no big deal. Or mono wire, or a giant precision rifle. Oh, I honked at me. I wonder if he had uh, the right of way there. We should stop in at the cyberware store and uh, quickly see if we can upgrade some stuff. Been thinking about getting some new chrome. Then I think you'll come to the right place. Cool beans. All right, uh, frontal cortex. Can we get the one thing I want? I don't even see it on here yet. Must not have the ability for it yet. That's okay. We also don't have a whole lot of cyberware um, capacity at the moment. Let's start upgrading some things. Uh, damage. Ooh, quick hack damage. And health and crit damage. I think I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, that looks good. That's a pretty good array of stats for that one. Uh, we could go up to tier 5, or I guess 4 plus for a RAM upgrade, which would be a good idea. We could also do this one, the X-Disc, up to the next level too. Let's get our mono wire up first, and then we'll worry about the other things. Hmm. Some extra um, quick hack damage on this one. But we would lose RAM from neutralizing enemy. Which... I don't know if that's that big of a deal, honestly. Lose some melee damage and some thermal damage. Nah, I think we'll go with this one. Alright. That stopped us from being able to upgrade those two. That's fine. Okay, let's get subdermal armor up. Or... Up, no, let's get subdermal armor. A little extra armor can't hurt. Quick hack armor, health. Yeah, it's still the best one. Can we upgrade it again? We can. More armor is good. And it's still the best one. Okay. And we can even do it one more time. Interesting. Alright. More armor. Um. Yep, yeah, nope. Still the best one. And, oh, we can even get to legendary. We can max it out. Let's just do it. Why not? It's still the best one. Alright, we are now at tier 5 subdermal, ar subdermal armor, which is 49 armor, plus 4.9 armor, 2% quick hack damage, and health items. Tier 5 plus requires 10 legendary upgrade thingies, and we don't have 10 legendary upgrade thingies. Let's upgrade this while we're here. I still think this one's better. A little bit of extra armor on that one, too, and I think we're almost out of things. Let's grab our leg upgrade. It has armor on it, so that's at least good. Um, health, quick hack damage, damage over time. That's basically all the things we want. We're going to lose some carrying capacity and stealth damage, but I don't care about that too much. Let's grab that. And, oh, we can do micro rotors for attack speed or health on kill. Let's get the micro rotor upgrade. Oh, it's going to be that one for sure. Okay. I think that's not everything we can upgrade. Holy crap, we can still keep going. Let's get our Kuroshi sentries upgraded. Quick hack, stealth damage, headshot versus... Nothing else particularly good. Decreased emily, or enemy vision is pretty good, but I think the quick hack damage is better. And we can do the last one here. Heal on kill. Um, none of these are particularly awesome. I'm hoping we get better stats later, because these are not great for us. I'll take that one, I guess, but it's not that good, to be fair. All right. We're now upgraded a little bit. We'll be a little beefier. What is our current hit point level? Actually, I'm kind of curious. Oh, my thing went weird there for a sec. Uh, all right. Unclear. It shows us in combat, but we'll worry about it later. I'm sure it shows us in here. What am I doing? Where's our stats? All 
There we go. Uh, we have 105 damage per second. We have 238 health, which is not ideal. However, for other, we have 58% RAM recovery rate in combat. We have 32 RAM total, 75% visibility to enemies. Our movement speed is a little bit higher than normal. Carrying capacity and oxygen are both pretty good. Our quick hack damage is plus 19%. That's not terrible, I guess. All right, let's go do a gig and see what we can find. Hello? True love comes to die in Night City. Husbands cheat on wives. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce and talk behind each other's backs. Can you believe that? Truly, I am shocked. But do not despair, V. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us, V. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving, but perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. Thank you. Alrighty. Would you like to hear about my fourth husband? He was very lazy, gullible, and filthy rich. I divorced him as quickly as I could and never made so much money in such a short time. With that said, I can, can I really bla blame Mrs. Gutierrez for stripping Mr. Gutierrez down to the last any? Of course not. In fact, I'd like to meet her lawyers. But enough about Mrs. Gutierrez. Our client happens to be the injured party, Mr. Gutierrez. He lost his car and luxury penthouse. Now the poor fool has barely anything to live in because he left his depository receipts in their old apartment. The locks are already changed. You'll have to retrieve them because our new divorcee is not going to give them back out of the kindness of her heart. The penthouse is on the last floor of the building. Don't worry, I'm providing you with elevator access. For obvious reasons, Mr. Gutierrez is counting on your utmost discretion. If things go quietly, he'll toss in extra. All right, let's look around. That is quite the... Can't be diet and exercise. I honestly expected that alarm to go off, but, uh, okay. Up we go. That's the least discreet weapon. Perhaps this is the most discreet. Actually, you know what we haven't done for a while? Really quickly, before we go all the way up there? We haven't upgraded anything for a bit. We don't have the components, though. Right, because we just upgraded all of our cyberware. Right, right, right. We can upgrade our lower level crafting gear into higher level crafting gear if we want to upgrade things. We'll get to that eventually. It will be a thing we have to do. This is apparently a hostile area right here. No cameras though. Open sesame. Oh, camera. You're like a drone or something. There's a computer up there. Oh, there's a drone. Can I just turn that thing off? I wonder if system collapse is going to be detection. Apparently not. Beautiful. That worked out shockingly well. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are reveal yourself. Nice system class. I can, once I have enough. We can just do this. Okay. Yeah. System collapse is super good. I really enjoyed that. We need more RAM though. That is... I hear another flying around thing. Let's quick save since we've done this without being caught so far. Oh no. Are they seeing me? It's a camera. Not a camera. The turret. That's not a permanent turn off. Let's just, uh. Once it. comes back online. 
Oh, we got it. Okay, so that barrier right there, that is a detection. Okay, gotcha. I didn't think about that. Didn't cross my mind. Should have realized that. Let's just reload that. Let's get rid of this turret. We'll turn it on to friendly fire mode. Okay, that's taken care of. And now it won't shoot us or detect us. This is a lovely apartment, I have to say. I would 100% live here if given the choice. It's not really my style, don't get me wrong. Like, there are things I would definitely change, but all in all, pretty nice. Hello, turret. Wait. Oh. That's interesting. So the turret was there. Oh, don't go there. Okay, so there's still some security things around. Here's the shard that we're looking for. Some loot. We're going to look around. A oh, I'm carrying too many things now. We did lose some carrying capacity, so we are going to be a little bit down on carrying capacity. That being said, we're carrying like 12 guns or way more than that, actually. Like 20-something guns, so that would weigh an awful lot. Still haven't fixed our, oops, our situation with our um, clothing yet, but we'll get to that. Nina, give me back my shards. It's my property and you know it. I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything, but I need them back. Can we do this like adults, please? How do we grow so far apart? You're still asking? After what you did? Fuck off, you self-centered prick. Surprise! The blinds in my kitchen are broken again. How hard is it to find a competent handyman in this town to fix them properly? I want a refund for the previous repair, and then I want you to send a professional who won't be overwhelmed by the apparent Sisyphean task. This time, free of charge. Of course, Miss Gutierrez, we're working on it, and deeply apologize for the inconvenience. I've already repossessed Mr. Emilio Gutierrez's apartment and vehicle. The next step is to establish regular alimony payments. As your lawyer, I should warn you that our chances of winning that are unfortunately quite low. You don't have children, and you also have a well-paying job. Maybe you have a chronic illness. We could maybe try to settle your husband with medical costs. Sincerely, Brad Drake, attorney at law, as Sukaga and Finch. I can temporarily quit my job. I'll ask my Ripper doc for a professional opinion that should play well in court. There are plenty of diseases out there. I'll think of something. And just remember, I'm paying you to destroy the son of a bitch's life. I wasted 15 years of my life on his pathetic ass. What is going on out here? Um. Uh, okay. Sure, that might as well have happened. For those of you who don't know the story of Sisyphus, he pushes a rock up a mountain and then it rolls back down and he has to do that endlessly until the end of time. The metaphor for forming a task that never has an end. Um, easy enough one. I can't remember what Sisyphus did, though, like the lore behind... Ooh, oh no, okay. There's definitely a guy out there. Let's just make sure he's not going anywhere. You're still friendly, right? Okay. Going down there, there might be loot down here. Also, I saw something to hack down here. Oh! There's another turret down here. I remember what Sivisivis did to get that. Was he the one that brought... No, Prometheus brought fire to humanity. What is this? E9, IC7A, E9. IC7A, nope. E9, IC7A, E9. What did we get for that? Encrypted information, but what? Unclear. That turret has become friendly. Let's grab all this for junk to disassemble. I think that's pretty well it. We've looted most of this place. I'll check back here really quickly just to verify that there's nothing back here. Security door. 
double check over here. Security door. We did upstairs, so I think we're... I'll just double check upstairs real quick. Not all that. Have we been in here? Can't go in there, doesn't matter. That leads downstairs. This is the room, so we cleared those out. That's the bedroom. Lovely room. Oh, there's a gun there we missed. There we go. Okay. There's another computer. Anything useful on it? Same things? I'll get right to the point. I'm sending you proof that my ex-husband was accepting bribes from Corpos in return, and in return pulled some strings at City Hall. To be honest, I didn't give so much as a glance in those files because I don't really give a shit, but I know you're one of those journos who gets a hard-on for any speck of dirt on a politician. I'm sure you'll connect the dots yourself. Oh, and don't name me in any of your documents or I'll make your life a living hell. I'm handing you Emilio on a silver platter, so be thankful and have fun. Files not found. Hack stuff. Hack spamware. Alright, now it's time to leave, I think. Nothing over there. I wonder if there's another way to do this. Because we came up here, right? And now, I guess we can go through here and then into the building that way if we have strength. But anyways, we're leaving. Down the elevator. That was actually a relatively easy mission. A couple of system collapses, which I love that skill. Super useful. Alright, time to leave. Bye everyone. Thank you for access to your building. I appreciate it. <sighs> Deposit a job item. Discreet and with finesse. Something I cannot say about Mr. Gutierrez's divorce. Marvelous work, V. Closing the contract. <laughs> All right, now, where are we going? Another gig there. Also more gigs down this way. But there are a few NCPD things around this area we should probably pick off really quickly. There's that one and that one and this one. We could probably do these five. They're all really close together. Maybe even six. Let's go do that one first and then we'll swing around to the other ones. Need my car. My car did a weird thing where it just suddenly hit the ground and stopped moving. And off we go. Look at that beautiful threading of the needle on that turn. My driving skills are, well I was going to say improving and then that happened so. Let's just call it a wash. My driving skills have remained exactly the same. Okay. Go we'll kill some people. There's at least one in there. It's all barbed wire on the way in. Okay. Well, let's get this party started. Let's go with Contagion, 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 do this, Contagion, Overheat, and Short Circuit, that's good enough. Most of them should be dead by the time we get in there. Drop your weapon and show yourself! No. Oh, there's that guy. Let's save up a few RAM and we'll use uh, something different this time. We'll try a Synapse Burnout. Only 16, so we should have it relatively soon. I think that's about 16. Good amount of damage on that. 
did you move out of the way of that? You fucking gunk. Rude. Where are you? Here's someone else around here. I know there's someone. My problem is I don't know where they are. But we'll go find them in a sec here. I think they're on the roof. What now? That didn't work as well as I thought. Hello? Come out with your hands in the air! Definitely on the roof. What the? <laughs> One dead? There's three of them on the roof. You say you threw a grenade and it's gonna blow? Yes, you did. Oh no, no! You can't be dead! What? I'm not dead. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is you're dead. Okay, there's a hackable right here somewhere. Oh, it's up there. And there's a thing over there we gotta loot. You can see the exclamation mark right there. I see, I see, BD, BD. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Nope, I see, I see, BD, BD. Okay. Done and done. Oh, I went too far. I flew too far. We've taken everything that we needed to. Should turn that off, actually. There's some sort of corpse loot over here. Yes. I heard a little. Yeah. We jumped a little too far. Alright, well, job completed. Next one is relatively close by. Let's get that one, and then we'll get this one. And then we'll get these three. We can do all of them in this video, get them all done, and get them over with. I'm going to do the gig. I'm going the wrong way. Turn it around. Hi, Sebastian. Already. Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. The Padre would have been our first fixer when we were living in that part of the city. Come see me in my little parish when you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. Because we chose the Street Kid origin, we'll have a little bit of insight into Night City that some of the other ones won't. I mean, Corp will have different insights, obviously, but Nomads won't have the same level of insights. They will have more insight into Nomad stuff, though, but we don't have that. Also, this thing is below us. Not literally below us, just figuratively below us. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. We got several enemies. At least four. Okay, that's a basic lot of my life, so let's let them all die and try and regen some of our hit points while we do it. They are tracing our location. That being said, I think we killed all the ones we targeted. We just have a few enemies left that we haven't seen, those ones specifically. I heard someone to our left. He's coming in right now. There's at least two people to our left. Our left. There's a firebomb that just flew in there. Hey. Oh, that hurts. Still hurts a lot when we get hit. Alright, I think everyone's dead now. Yeah. Pretty easy all around, just a little bit dicey at the end there. We gained a level. 
finish the mission. Looting some bodies, of course. There's a couple people dead over here. Not showing us their items on the mini map, so we have to kind of be careful of what we're looking around at. A homeless camp. Do we murder hobos? No, it's definitely like some sort of hit squad. What are they? Tiger claws? Veteran guard, no affiliation. Veteran guard of what? Vehicle has no markings on it. Don't know what it is. Gone now. A long way down. Oh, the double jump did not work. I fell too far before I hit the button. There's a sweet spot where you can double jump as you're falling and reduce some of the fall damage, but there's also times where that doesn't work. We can finish these five-ish NCPD subcon jobs during this video. I'd be pretty happy. There's a car there upside down. Hello? It must have just been a pickup from an old job. Or... Yeah. Oh. Huh. Do you have a name person? Reported crime, crash chest. Okay, now we're go to the dealer stash in Japan down. Okay, that's what it wants us to do. Alright. We found a thing. Now we have to go to a thing. How far away is this? Okay, change of plans slightly. We'll go grab this and we'll do these. Some of these. I don't know how many we'll do. A couple of them at least. Killing the music a little bit. It's a little loud. I should turn down my radio volume a teensy bit, but I'll do that later. Or we can do it right now, honestly. And then we can turn on some good music. Body heat. Damn it! This is the only song I can't play because it gets copyright striked all the time. And it's my favorite song too, which is the worst. I'm gonna go the wrong way. Walk the wrong way around the traffic circle. Pissing off. Actually, you know what? That would be the correct way around the traffic circle in the UK and Ireland, I believe. Yeah, 100%. I went to Ireland a few years back. It was a lovely trip. I opted to drive there, having driven on the right-hand side of the road my entire life, and sat in the left-hand seat, obviously, because that's how we drive in North America, and a good chunk of the world. But, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling you out left-hand drivers. Anyways, long story short, I had, to, I had to learn how to do traffic circles because there's not a lot of them here in Canada. There's a few, but not... Oh, shit, there's an enemy like literally centimeters from us. All right, we're just going to do this hot, I guess. I should kill those two right away, at least. Let's go try to find somewhere to stand that isn't enemy adjacent. Um, but anyways, what was the story? Yes, I learned how to drive traffic circles primarily there. Because you guys have a billion of them. And I don't know why you have so many traffic circles. I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong. I actually kind of like them, but... Um, so learning to drive on the left, also learning how to do traffic circles at the same time. I lost a mirror, long story short. Not in the traffic... Actually, the traffic circles went fine. I lost a mirror in a small town with narrow streets. And I was still learning how to like position the car properly from like where I was sitting compared to what I was used to. It was a little bit wonky. And I lost a side mirror. And when I went back to the car rental place, they had a whole wall of side mirrors. Like, probably like 50 or 60 side mirrors for the car that they rented me. I'm guessing that it wasn't the first time that it had ever happened. And it was such a common thing that they just had a huge stock of them to replace them with. It cost me like 100 bucks or something. So, yeah. Long story short, the world should just figure out what side of the street we want to all drive on, and then 
from that point onwards, we just all stay at that one side. I vote the right because I'm used to it, but you know what? I'm willing to learn how to drive on the left if it means I'd never have to relearn again or, like, figure it out in another country. Let's just all come together and pick a side. Hey, Kim, I talked to a guy who deals with the Tigers, said they got some drones to unload, Militech moths, jailbroken, de-iced, the works. Ain't cheap, but I think they're worth a scratch. Jonas and the boys already got some like them, and they're starting to poach our buyers. I mean, Carrie already started to are going to them exclusive. Let me know what you think, but be quick. Tigers got another buyer ready, and if they don't get a decent offer from us, they'll close. Mia, costs appear is going up, but price per hit sticky as fuck. Shit keeps going the way it's going. Biz won't make much sense. Gotta make the stuff last. Ideas? Marco. Could have some crushed fluorescence. You get it fine enough, can't see a thing. Plus it cuts up the client's nose, makes the stuff absorb faster. Gonk won't even notice the shit's been cut. Let me know what you think. Got Chum who can get us some burnt out bulbs in bulk. This is why you shouldn't do drugs unless you really, really know your dealer and supplier. Guaranteed in real life people are doing shit like that too. Drugs, man. Dangerous things. Not because of the drugs themselves, although those can be pretty dangerous too, depending on what you're taking, but the stuff they put in them nowadays. Oh, hey, there's a legendary upgrade thing here. Yeah, nice. Glad we came across that. Somebody just left five or left a legendary uh, crafting material out in a box for us. Oh, that's such a sh stupid place for that to be. I was going to swear there, but there was no need to. No need to curse. Let's just go up here and take this traffic circle. Where's my car? Did it navigate the traffic circle? Kinda, it just caused a traffic jam. We are the jerk who has broken up the traffic circle. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to go backwards. Through the other... Oh god, what a disaster. Yield to the person on the right, or left, or whatever. Everyone out of my way, excuse me. If you're going around the traffic circle that way, you yield to the person on your left. Which would be me in that case. If you're in the Uck, then you yield to the person on the right. Which is weird. Because they gotta get out of the traffic circle if they're on the internal parts. Although some traffic circles just have, like, lanes that go to specific places. Which I liked more than trying to figure out how to merge in and out of them. Where is this thing? It's below us. Ah! You're fine, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna jump off this bridge. I think. How far down is this? Is this a lethal fall? Probably, yes. But also maybe not. Down this way? Can I kill them from up here? Yeah, actually, I probably could. It's actually a great view of where we need to be. And we're going to go Contagion Overheat. Do that. Contagion. Anyone else I can see? Yes, there's a guy there. Contagion twice, I guess. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. How are you doing over there? Maybe you should die too. Oh my god, how did he explode like that? Hello there. Oh, that... They hit really hard, surprisingly. Oh god, I'm falling. Okay, I died. <laughs> that was very stupid, I fell off the cliff. Whoops. Sometimes these things happen, you know? Sometimes you just fall off a ledge. Alright. Alright, I just jumped down here. Okay. Let's just do that again. Where did the fall? There it is. Ugh. Hurts. And that was over on this side? Yes. Okay. Let's try that again, but better. Remember to take Alright, let's take a look. There was more of them than I thought, so let's do Contagion, E, Contagion. Let's just do a wide array of Contagions, and then we can see where they all are. Because they should all group up and then just share their Contagions around, hopefully. There's at least four of them. There's five of them.
That one's not going to die on her own. Let's synapse burn out her. She's not dead. How is she not dead? Anyways, we're about to be revealed in like three seconds. <laughs> He's dead. This guy's alive. Let's contagion him. <laughs> Jeez, that guy has like a freight train. One hit is like two thirds of our health. <gasps> we'll just let him die now. Okay, he's dead. Everyone else alive? Nope, there's definitely still people alive down there. Reloading. Bad time to reload. Okay, let's see what we got here. Overheat. Overheat and a shot to the face. That should be all of them, I think. Okay. Saving? Can't save in combat. Oh, there's still a guy alive. Who's alive? I hear gunfire. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Let's go E. Overheat contagion synapse. That should kill him. Anybody else? Can I save now? Yes. Now we're not in combat. Uh, we don't have the life to jump down at the moment. Ah, uh, maybe we do. Oh, we're fine. Okay, looting all the bodies. Sometimes you just die, you know. It happens. This is not a hardcore run, nor would I ever want to do a Cyberpunk 2077 hardcore run. There's bugs and stuff that can cause you to die. Lots the weird explosions out of nowhere that you can't anticipate. I'm just not into one death runs anymore. I did that triple crown run of um, Pillars of Eternity, and that was enough stress for my whole life. That was just so stressful all the time. I like games for fun, not so much the stress. I'm just playing them hard because it's actually kind of fun to fight things that can kill you. On easy, we would just obliterate everything in our path. I can't get up this stupid thing. There's a hackable somewhere above us. Can we get back up there? It doesn't really matter if we can. Only one hack thing, although maybe. Nope, that didn't work. We could maybe go up there if we want to hack whatever's up there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we're up here. Where's the hack thing? We down? Something is bl it's right down there. Where is that? Oh, it's the little thing right beside the door. Okay. Well, that was silly. We went up there for no reason. My bad. 55 IC 55 7A. 55 IC. 55 IC 55 7A 7A. Okay. Done that one. Next one. We gotta go do more murders. Up there, perhaps. Try and do these three, and then we'll call it. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Our car is on top of the bridge. Clearly, we're not gonna be taking it to where we're going at the moment. Until we get a new one, and there it is. The car looks like it's a different color for some reason. Alright. Let's go. I should buy a new car soon. We have a ton of money. Like, we just have so much money. We're in North Oak now. We spun out around the corner there. This is a stupid road. Look at how this is designed. This is badly designed. Anyways, here's a bunch of corpses. You think you can provoke me? <laughs> I like how that truck was like, hey, I'm walking here. Alright. Let's go hide over here and then just do the thing to kill all the people. Oh, I can't. Why can't I? Arasaka Assassins. Okay. 
work the way I hoped. Okay, that should chain kill them all, probably. No, they're not gonna die. Let's do it again. There we go, now they're getting each other again. And again, and again, and again. Failed to track me because there's no one left alive. Are the police honking at my vehicle that's in the middle of the road? Alright, well we killed the people we were supposed to. I... No, we didn't. I think we just murdered... Oh no, you're right. No, that's right. We just have to go to Jalapeno Joe's hideout to get our reward. Okay, I was like, did we just kill a bunch of Arasaka people for no reason? Not that I'm opposed to that, it's just... You know. I know we were supposed to be doing a mission. And not just indiscriminately killing people. Not that I'm opposed to indiscriminately killing people either. Let's just be clear about that one. Down we go. It's just down here. It's called table scraps. Oh, right. I remember this. This is... This sucks. Okay. This might be our... Let's just do this as our last one for the day. This has been a pretty long video already. We'll do more video or more stuff later on, but this sucks a lot. So, you're going to be looking for these mines. Of which, there are just so many. I'm on the wrong one. Let me hack that one. There we go. Okay, the safest place to be is actually, like, on top of here. And then you can kind of look down and disarm all of the mines. And there's a lot of them. I don't see any more that we haven't disarmed yet. Yes, I do. There's one there. Okay, I'm gonna... Tentatively come down here. Grab all that. Read the computer. Joe, you're not safe. Joe, you ever wonder why you the only one of us in North Oak? You think you're so smart nobody ever thought of eating caviar to rich Gannic trash? Well, you're not. There were others, but they all disappeared. Joe, nobody knows where. Run while you still can. But you need to know how to put grammar and not type in all caps. Yo, Jalapeno Joe. What's been up, my chum? Long time no see, man. How you been? Well, me, been better. Things are a little rough right now. Got that DT, getting worse. Chicks are so bad, it's like I'm a bust through the wall. Anyway, need a safe spot to get clean. Can you help your chum out like I helped you out back then? Chum, got it twisted just because you loaned me a few eds, which I paid back. Doesn't mean we're chums till the end of the world. So take that sob story of yours back where it came from. Shouldn't have started up again. Anyway, let's spell it out for you. No, you can't come up here. No, I won't help you. It's jalapeno, not jalapeno. Or not, sorry, it's jalapeno, not Japolano, for fuck's sake. It's not that hard. I like how this dude has, like, fairly substantial electronics sleeping on a horrible mattress. Anyways, let's see if we can get out of here without blowing up. Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. We're going to call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. And we will do the other two police things up here, and then we'll head to the next gig, which will be down here, I think. And then we'll do these NCPD things as well. We missed one up there, too. Oh, well. We'll get to that eventually. Anyways, we're sitting at level... What level are we right now? Oh, we need to finish up technical skill. And we have some perk points. Let's do those really quickly. Uh, new cyberware slot for our hands. Yes, please. That also gives us our path to Doom Launcher, but we're not taking Doom Launcher. That's really not what we're about. And we're going to grab um, Edge Runner, which allows us to exceed our cyberware capacity by up to 50 points at the cost of negative 0.5 max health per point. When you neutralize an enemy during combat, this is a 0.1% chance. 
for every point you're over capacity that you'll enter a fury state and you gain a bunch of damage and stuff and yeah it's pretty interesting what's this one that's bold that's tech weapon stuff yeah i think i'm just gonna grab edge runner that will let us get a boatload of cyberware however we will lose health when we are in that position so we'll see how things go i'm also gonna upgrade this to the tier 4.5 5 yeah whatever we need to get our operating system up and running to even higher so we can get more ram and stuff but maybe i'll go do that between videos i'll do some crafting of mats and upgrade our stuff and then i'll just kind of show you guys where uh, nah we'll do it all together next time like always if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them below otherwise we'll see you next time take care